Yo guys, what's up? This is Jack2505. Today, in this video, I'm going to be testing the Ophelian Liberation Alpha Bolt Sniper Rifle, the Relic version, of course. This is tested on lethal. All the footage you're going to see in this video is on lethal. This is in regards to the patch that was released today, patch 4.1, increasing the damage to the bolt, bolt guns. But in particular, I want to look into this bolt sniper rifle then we're going to go over the other guns in later videos don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and to all my socials and let's get on with the video and discuss the the improvements to this gun as we all know the the bolt sniper rifle was basically the gun not to use on basically ruthless and above this has now changed thank god the bolt sniper rifle in the patch notes the damage was increased by 12.5 percent which is quite a decent uh jump the sniper rifle that i've selected the alpha version it has the smallest magazine and the smallest ammo reserve but it has the highest firepower which is 14 so i wanted to see exactly how hard it can hit against majoris extremists and terminus enemies with the highest damage possible now the regular majoris enemies the warriors they take about two to three shots without any damage bonuses such as scan or cloak and, a, and around one to two with bonuses such as the scan and the cloak extremist en enemies such as the zone throats they get bodied by this weapon in around one to two shots and then the third shot to kill it or one to two shots and then execute I switch things up in the perk tree, now going for block break, vantage point, and iron grip to get a hold, get control of that recoil, as well as the perk tree for the bolt sniper itself, which includes bonus terminus uh, damage, extended magazine, bonus damage when health is low, and bonus headshot damage by 10%. The bolt is also good against a neural thought the uh, the boss version depending on where it spawns of course and hopefully you've got a bit of space the carnifex it is good against it but the carnifex at times it can be annoying because um his head weak spot is quite small plus he shoots the projectiles which which can disrupt your sniping so my advice if you're in a big open area with the bolt rifle shooting against the carnifex for once, make sure you're nowhere near your teammates. Because if he's shooting at a teammate, I know it sounds bad, but if he's shooting at the teammate, and not you, that's good for your sniping. If he's shoot, if he's shooting at you, that's not good. So hopefully you got a heavy there with a barrier, getting all the aggro. Now this is the first time that I've completed lethal with the bolt sniper rifle, and the extra damage has definitely helped this gun. Is it better than less fusel? Mm, I don't think so, but it's turned itself into a nice alternative and that's what the gun was supposed to be in the first place it's not garbage anymore guys feel free to pick the gun up and use it in well any difficulty really but to really see the difference use it in ruthless or lethal i've been using it in lethal and i've i've just gone through a few runs obviously type formation has been removed which which has made lethal way easier but I've gone through a few runs, completed it pretty easily, to be honest. And it was no problem with a bolt sniper rifle. I'm actually liking this gun now. I'm going to use it a couple more times and I'm just going to go back to this fusel. But guys, once you've watched the video, hopefully like, share and subscribe. If you could use the weapon and then come back to me and tell me one what you think of. Um, maybe you might be using the alpha or the beta version. Tell me the version that you've used. You might go for a higher capacity instead. And let me know how you've got on, on ruthless or lethal difficulties. Um, anything substantial below. I'm not saying I don't want to know, but let's be honest, guys. We want to have we, when we want to test how good weapons really are, we've got to try it in a higher difficulty. So let me know the perks that you've selected on your sniper. Um, the sniper class and the perks that you selected on the guns. I really want to know what other people are using Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you want to team up with me feel free to um, join the discord as well as well as follow me on um, On Twitch as well where I, I live stream from time to time 
I'm actually liking this gun and I will use definitely use it as an alternative on various runs. I've been using it non-stop on terminal, terminal, termination, but I will use it on the other, um, on the older six operations and see how it goes. Now, thank you very much for uh, making it to the end of the video. I hope you're enjoying the patch. Seems like everyone's happy. And um, this is Jack2505 and I'll see you guys in the next video.